the recording has started and I shared the link to the meeting minutes in the right. chat. Excellent. My hat seems to be off kilter. It looks fine. No, it does look a little crooked, but whatever. Now it looks more crooked. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Georg. I was not here last week. I had a meeting. Um, so it looks like last week we talked about the summer of code um, and more participation in GMD and uh, metrics release process. So not much last week. This week, uh, we'll just take a look at the issues and pull requests that are outstanding, if any, as a first order of business. up. Somebody's in the wind. I think that's Vimu. That's all right. He's the only one not muted. Andrea. So let's start with know. all right. Um, I am going to not go through the entire list of issues. Um, I guess I can really quickly. Um, the code development. I think we can. Um, which number are you referring to, Vanu? I can't hear you. That, uh, All right. Of All right. Much, so Looks like it's merged. So we can, yes. you are correct, we can close this issue. Okay, I'm an So that one has disappeared. Uh, 44, I think, I think we're pretty close to being able to close this. Um, we've merged a bunch of pull requests. Uh, I think it will be under persistent refinement. Um, any objections to closing issue number 44? This is really what the working group has been focused on leading up to the Linux Foundation Leadership Summit. Why, why would you close it? Just do you think it's done? Well, so for focus areas are never done, right? Sure. But the purpose of this was to say, hey, we need to work out a lot of the things in code development. And sure. I think that general agenda item is okay. you know, finished as a need for an issue. I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I could keep issues open for like cleaning my house every week, right? But um, characterize a participant within projects and across five projects, that's still open, waiting for feedback. Community manager's use case, I think there's a, there's a pull request tied to it that I've edited several times. I'm not, we'll get to that on pull requests. I feel like I resolved all of the issues, but maybe there's more. Um, characterize a bug reporter's past success at effectively reporting bugs. Um, that's open chaos metrics with Percival. I, I guess these are ideas for Google Summer of Code. Um, should we, since we're actively doing Google Summer of Code up a governance repository, um, I guess I don't know if we're referencing these micro tasks though. You could check real quickly. Um, just just the, going how that's, uh, it looks like people are actually posting in here. Okay, so this is still active. This is where this is this is being pointed to. So we'll leave that open. We can close it after the application period. 
so in two weeks. Ah, and I see there's a. Apparently, I missed missed something commented on Augers, issue number eighty two. So we have lost that opportunity. Um, there's an issue to update the README headings. Okay. I don't know if that's done or not. We've done some updates to the README. I'll have to check on that. <clears throat> that was issue number 83, number 92. Align metrics names. I think uh, we've actually done that now. Um, Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's kind of like the one you were talking about yeah. before. That's just kind of an ongoing issue. Yep. Uh, number 99, addressing refining comments and pull request 90. Um, I guess waiting response for me, so that might be the answer. <clears throat> uh, maintain a dictionary file of all metrics and historical names. Uh, I think that's still open, hasn't been worked on. Requiring the DCO gear, where are we at with that? Um, we piloted it on the governance repository. We've been educating everyone on the weekly calls and on the mailing lists and in these issues. So as soon as I get the go that the working group is willing to adopt it, and we already have the um, um, value group accepting it, and I think risk already has it. So I just need the go to activate the bot and then everyone contributing to this repository needs to include their sign off. Okay. So everyone who has already contributed to the repository has to go back and sign it off? No, no. we don't do that. It's just for future. Okay. Uh, any, I don't object to that. Do we need to take this to a mailing list question or? No, we have no. been discussing this for the last three okay. months and yeah. we had it on this at the governing board meeting. I mean, I think everybody is okay with it. So do you just need me to say that we discussed it in this meeting and approve of adding it and then you will close the issue after you do it or how do you yeah, want to proceed? That sounds good. Okay. Any objections to including the DCO in this repository from the group that's online? No, and you kind of have to do it anyway, according to the charter. <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to be diplomatic, expecting, <laughs> expecting no pushback, but I'll be bureaucratic. Being, being able to appear as though I'm highly flexible. <laughs> I want to include the, I do sincerely want, you know, if somebody objects to say so, but you're right, we do technically have to. Um, so, and metrics, calling them reviews instead of proposals. Hmm. So I think that's super confusing because there's another construct of a code review that also exists. Uh, this is issue 110. Um, and we've changed the name of the pull request metrics to proposals. And uh, some people have indicated, and I don't know who those people are, that it's difficult to map that construct to pull requests um, and merge requests. Um, but I, I, I uh, what is it? So it's, what is a proposal? 
So uh, pull, pull request, it was pull request, which is the GitHub terminology. Yeah. GitLab calls that a merge request. Okay. Uh, we modified it to be just a proposal. Um, that uh, seems to have confused some people. However, the proposal to change proposal to review, I think, is even more confusing because there is an actual thing called a code review. And I, I would not intuitively map the notion of a review to a pull request or a merge request. I would think that's a reference to a code review. Maybe you just call it like a, a pull slash merge request. Yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> so it covers both bases then, and we just have a slash in there. So maybe it's fine. Um, or it could be forked code request or something. Yeah, yeah right. I'm just making some notes in the issue here. Okay. I think. Kali Fair, by the way, also calls it a pull request. Who does? Kali Fair. I don't know. I, should I know what that is? It's another open source repository management system that the Software Frame Conservancy uses. All right, and then we have a new issue. <clears throat> proposals accepted and proposal acceptance. Um, so this, I think this requires more conversation. I don't know if anybody has an opinion here. All right, there's an indication there'll be a pull request, so maybe Polaris triple zero has done that. And that concludes all of the issues. Now moving on to pull request. Um, there's a pull request to change proposals to reviews. Um, I'll go from the bottom up, community manager use case. Changes requested. All right, I will edit that pull request again and one day it will be merged. Use cases, new case. Sorry, sorry what? Never, it'll never be merged. That's how it feels. <laughs> um, new use case, hints for maintainership position. <clears throat> and we are waiting for fo feedback from Kate Bogle on this one. Um, removing value and risk areas for this working group. Um, I, we discussed that on the general call yesterday and we generally agreed there are new working groups for risk and value. So uh, I think we just do that. Yeah, I, I agree. And this should, I actually think this will kind of bring uh, whatever we call this work group now, the life cycle work group or the activity work group, um, kind of back to your roots. Mm -hmm. Our roots. You know? Back to our was, debut album. Yeah, back to the debut album. <laughs> so just kind of back to the things that you were originally honed in on. Because mm -hmm. remember for a while, like risk, it was kind of an add-on. Like we didn't have anywhere to put it. Right, we put it there administratively knowing it would get its own working group eventually. Yeah, and value never even really existed in GMD, so whatever. So this worked. And then for the change proposals to reviews, we discussed that under the issue, and I do think it's confusing. So. All right. 
So that leaves us with <clears throat> all of the issues and all of the pull requests addressed. Um, moving on to, were there other items held over from the previous meeting that I was not at that need to be addressed? I don't think so. Um, just, I just, I think that they're, they're, um, this is kind of a, a, maybe a broader issue. I'll even turn on my video for this. Ooh. Um, so the, I think we have a bunch of working groups now mm -hmm. between, uh, obviously common and GMD and we have five. We have five and they're meeting on a regular basis. So I think I need to, I'm going to send out an email to the list that kind of summarizes all of the meetings for the working groups mm -hmm. would be helpful just so everybody can kind of re-get their bearings. I think so. Um, and it may make sense in light of there being value and risk working groups now for this working group to meet less frequently, more like value does. Yeah, and I mean, bi-weekly cadences, I think would be just fine. Yeah. Because I think when we're starting to have five working groups it gets with, to with the weekly call, yeah, I mean, we have six calls potentially a week. That's what I'm thinking, that perhaps dialing this one, this one I think could be dialed back to every other week and we might get mm -hmm. better engagement that way. Yeah, and then I might recommend to you too, um, that you send out an email like on Tuesday, just reminding people mm -hmm. of the meeting tomorrow. So I'll, I'll send out one that kind of summarizes when those meetings are. Yep. We got any like, reminders. I'll put yeah, it in yeah, DNI sends out a, a reminder typically yeah. on Mondays. Um, so anyway, just yeah, it, it's good as a way to encourage more people to participate. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Now I'm going to turn off my video. Okay. All right. So uh, any other agenda items? Uh, anything else anyone wants to talk about? In this, this is working group. not yet on the agenda, but one thing that I know we've talked about in the metrics um, or on the general call and that GMD might also look into is how can people who cannot make the call get engaged with the working group? What can we do to invite them to help with advancing the metrics? I think um, I think the premise of this working group has been that people would do that by creating issues and pull requests. I'm not sure that is sufficient to really engage people because that doesn't set an agenda or a roadmap that people can converse around. Any other what thoughts about, on what that? About, what about participating in the mailing list discussions and trying to assign tasks to people then we have a follow-up as well? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So how would you see the dynamics? Uh, people who want to get involved look at the metrics and, and, and start creating pull requests for the use case description. Mm -hmm. Of the of those metrics that they would be interested in uh, engaging with, would this right. be the right way? I think that is one right way. Yeah, for sure, that'd be an excellent way to get involved in this working group. I like that idea. Is there a way to encourage people to do it? Because right now, again, the path is open but mm -hmm. yes. do people actually realize it's there and do they feel invited to do it? Perhaps not. something we can do to make it easier and invite them. Is there anything that the DNI working group has done, Georg, that you think might be helpful in terms of a routine practice that, that solicits engagement? We have tried a few things. I don't know if any of are particularly helpful, but I can summarize them. One thing we do is 
marked issues as good first issues and then sent out emails every two weeks saying, hey, we would really like help with these easy good first issues. That's one. Another thing we do is take discussions we have on the calls, summarize them on the mailing list, and then ask for input from the mailing list. And that has worked somewhat because we know there are people who cannot make the calls but would really like to be part of the conversation. And one that we saw recently work in the chaos community was the ethics just debate. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we get good debate out of just posting issues to the mailing list and asking for feedback and comments. Yeah. Is it possible to ask them to join the call? Which, um, I, I cannot can, hear you too well. Sorry, I cannot hear you either. Is it possible to call them and have um, I still cannot understand. Yeah, maybe, maybe he should pause his video and then the audio will be will have high bandwidth. Uh, okay. Am I audible right now? That's better, I think. You could also type it in the chat if you're having a hard try try again, Banu. Yeah. So for everyone who is watching this video later, Vinu typed, can we ask them to ask doubts in the community call? Oh, I think, um, so if there are, I'm not sure I completely understand the question, but perhaps I think he's suggesting if, if there are questions about growth maturity and decline or activity working group as we may someday be called that that those can be brought up under the agenda of the work group update in the general call I mean sometimes there's time for that sometimes things get to that level I'm not opposed to that uh, as you know assuming it doesn't become a too big of a of a burden, especially if people can't participate in this call. But I think the you know we could try that. I don't know if Fanu is typing now or so. I think Georg maybe just copy that. I can't capture that idea in the notes. Um, Any other suggestions? I think these are good, good starters. Yeah, I think so too. Any other things that folks want to discuss pertaining to this working group? I, I will um, send out a mail, an email um, before the meeting next week suggesting that one of the agenda items will be reducing this week's or this working group's cadence to every other week and i might suggest that we do that cadence in um sort of opposite weeks of the common working group which is the other currently every other week working group sure so that would be two weeks from today yeah um and I was just trying to think if um, we wanted to, I guess we could just switch to every other week as of the next meeting and have that be uh, two weeks from today. I think that's a reasonable. Next week, Common meets. Common does yeah. not meet this week. So. That's what I meant. I'm, yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to think about skipping a meeting and having it stay on this yeah. cadence, but I think if we send an email out and just, unless there's opposition in this group, to just switch the cadence to every other week, <coughs> that might be, um, a good way to go. 
what do people think? Yeah, it works for me. Okay. Good. Um, I need to drop off to go to another meeting, but uh, I think we might be finished. So I will just ask if there's other agenda items um, and either we can conclude because there aren't any or we can continue discussing without me, which is totally fine with me. One okay. of the things that was brought up on the main list is renaming the working group. I don't know if you wanted to discuss it here or not. I, I will let you all discuss that if you wish to. And uh, activity is one thing I suggested that call it the activity metrics working group. I'm open to other suggestions as I'm sure we all are. Um, if you capture them, Georg, then we can discuss them on email or in the next meeting in two weeks. I think we have them captured at least the yeah. I'm going to bow out. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. Why don't we just defer that, Georg, until we have like Jesus and Sean here? Yep. And I'm perfectly happy with having the conversation 100% on the mailing list. Okay. That's fine with me. All right. I got to drop off too. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye. bye.